Hi everyone, this is Deepika from Cadness. So here we are going to see tax planning and features of tax planning and few other things related to tax in this video. So what is tax planning basically? So tax planning can be defined as arrangements of one's financial and economic affairs by taking complete legitimate benefit of all deductions, expenses, allowances and rebates so that tax liability reduces to minimum. So this is all about tax planning. So what are the features of it is it comprises arrangement by which tax laws are fully compiled. Second feature all legal obligation and transactions are met. Transaction do not take the form of collateral divorces. There is no intention to detect the legal spirit, the law, tax law. So these are the features of tax planning. We have to plan the tax to reduce to minimum paying, but still we have to fulfill all the laws and all the transaction, all the things should be lawful. This is all about features. So let us see the module two which is all about company taxation. So basic concepts under Income Tax Act 1961 says, first thing what is assessment? Assessment is a process of determining the total income and total liability of an assessee. There are many types of assessment. First thing is self assessment. Second one summary assessment regular assessment under that we have scrutiny assessment best judgment assessment then we have reassessment then precautionary assessment so these are few types of assessment given so we have assessment year under section 2 of 9 assessment year refers to period of 12 months commencing from 1st of April of every year and ending on 31st of March of subsequent year. It is a year in which the income earned in the previous year will be put into tax. For instance, the current assessment year is now it is 2021 to 2022 and the previous year will be 2022-21 will be the previous year. So we have again we have previous year under section 3 previous year refers to period of 12 months commencing immediately preceding the assessment year it is a year in which income earned in the year will put into tax for the relevant assessment year for instance the current previous year is 2022-21 so here it is given wrong so i'll be telling the previous year so exception to the general rule of previous year there are few exceptions income of non-resident shipping business income of persons leaving India for permanently or for a long period of time. So these are few exceptions given. So income of bodies form for short duration. Income of person trying to transfer his or her uh, asset to avoid payment of tax. Income of a discontinued business. These are few exceptions of a general rule of previous year. That is income from non-resident shipping business. Income of a person leaving India permanently or for a long time. Income of bodies formed for a short duration. Income of person trying to transfer his or her asset to avoid payment of tax. Income of a discontinued business. These are few exceptions. We have few terms. Next one is SSE. So, an SSE means a person from whom any tax or other sum is payable under the Income Tax Act 1961. And it, it, it includes every person in respect of whom any proceedings of loss is carried on, a person who is entitled to refund of tax, deemed as a C and as a C in defaults. So these are few terms that we have learned today. So it is an SSC. Then we have person, income, everything. So these are the few terms we will be seeing in the upcoming video. For more videos, stay subscribed and press bell icon for notification. Thank you for watching.